Belt or no belt? That is the question. And it's not this kind of belt, you know, it's not, it's not like I want to match belt. It's a weightlifting belt. The short answer is we want to wear this if you are above 85, maybe even 90% of your max. If you're going for a, uh, like a one rep max, a three rep max, even a five rep max, you can wear this if you want. I used to, um, I do not anymore. And the only reason is, this is the longer answer, um, I really don't want to depend on a belt. Um, I don't want to think of this as like a, like a safety net for me. Um, I love the feeling of bracing against it, and that is the point. Um, it gives you a little more trunk stability, but what's even more impressive is when you have trunk stability without it, and you can handle these heavy loads. Um, so that's the long answer. I really don't think it's necessary. I opted out of this a few years ago, and I started training trunk strength on a regular basis at least one time a week, sometimes two, sometimes maybe even three times per week. And uh, it has changed the game for me because a strong trunk means strong limbs, which means a stronger body, period. So uh, these don't become dependent on it. That really is the point here. So if you're above 85 or 95 percent of your max, feel free to throw it on for a test or something like that. Feel free to wear it if you're really trying to max out, but otherwise ditch the belt. Depend on your trunk to, to hold that load.